Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Football Manager 2019! As Air United, we are technically still in the pre-release beta over here, and we're doing a lot of the early game stuff at this point. Trying to recruit a few people. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and introduce ourselves to the squad. Boom. Actually, we didn't talk about myself and what my skills are, and we should probably look at that, but um, I did go in min-max a little bit so that my, my character is particularly should be apt at talking to people overall. So we have 19 people in influence over here. Um, we'll start off calm. I want to take the opportunity to introduce myself to you as new air manager. Excellent. Welcome. I'm pleased to see you in charge. I hope your reign is long and successful. Awesome, Ross. I appreciate you. Um, with passion... I'm very positive about our chances. I think we can beat the drop and stay in the division this season. So I don't even want to get the relegation playoffs. I want to say we're going to do a little bit better than that. Excellent. It's going to take a lot of hard work and effort to stay in the division, but I know we've got what it takes. Ross, totally behind me. Excellent. Um, I'm going to be passionate. That's exactly the sort of reaction I was after. Awesome. Morale's up across the board. Everyone's on board with the idea. Let's not get relegated, even though the press is sort of predicting us to come out ninth out of a group of 10, which would put us in the relegation playoff. But, so, we're hoping to end up at least 8th and avoid that. That's our goal over here. Stay 8th, try to make some money from being a bigger league as much as possible. Match preparation discussion, excellent. Um, air injury update, uh-huh. Oh, we were going to meet the media. So, let's go ahead and attend the press conference. Normally, I will use my assistant manager to do this for me. But, we're going to go ahead and do it the first time for sure. Hi, Quill. What are your initial thoughts about taking on the air job? So, your uh, personality, wily and not to be trusted with no relation. Um... You know, with passion. Uh, I'm very excited. It's a great club, and I can't wait to get stuck in. Uh, untrustworthy. You stand here today unveiled as new air manager. As a big fan of the club. Surely this must be a dream come true. Uh, I've dreamt of this moment. Or I, I can't stop smiling. This is a wonderful feeling. Do you feel your ambitions of the club are matched by the chairman? Um... Yes, our discussions are often creative, and there are a lot of good ideas floated, which promise good things for the future. Okay. Oh, this guy's enthusiastic. How do you feel about the the expectations asked of you this season? I've been fair and realistic. Um, I will be assertive. Uh, I'm very happy with the direction we're going in. Everyone at the club wants to be the best they can be. Nobody more so than me. I've taken steps in football management despite being just 24 years of age, which isn't true at all, but let's pretend. Critics have suggested that you will struggle to command respect in the dressing room. It contains older players than you. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be easier if I... That wouldn't get this question if I just put in my real age, but oh well. Um, cautiously. Uh, there are plenty of examples of young managers having success in the game. I believe I can be one of them. What made you take this job? Well, um, yeah, I think their ambition is fantastic. They want to be successful. will not compromise on being the best. Excellent. Lovely. Uh, player development advice summary. Good respect from players. High potential players is Finn Ekrapont, who's currently in the, our reserve squad. Wow, that potential ability is insane. He's on a long contract. He's only 15 years old right now. Wow. Maybe I should be involved in a little bit more of the uh, youth coaching. And there's still not a way, I, as far as I know, to like... I got to be very careful that these people don't get auto-traded away. So with that, let's go ahead and look at the staff responsibilities and give some think as to what we want to do. Um, so we'll go through the overall. I mean, I'm going to keep most of the responsibility for myself, hiring, firing people, transfers. I will handle all of those as well as outgoing. Contract renewals should probably be me. Um, decide which youth team players' contracts to send, handle negotiations. Yeah, because otherwise things go badly. Again, it would be nice, and I think with the director of football on staff, you can do a lot more of like, hey, listen, I, I, I want to keep this guy, I don't want to keep this guy, this guy, whatever, da-da-da-da-da, and, you know, let them handle that for you. But we'll have to be pretty head-on over here. We're going to do training for first team in this. And Dave White can probably handle the training for all the youths. That's going to be okay. Uh, first team-wise, so team talks, I am going to go and offload that to the assistant manager. Um, the tactical briefings, a, the press conference as well. Uh, we'll do the new signing, and if there happens to be a tunnel interview, we'll do that. Um, opposition instructions, we'll go ahead and leave that on automatic as well. Player search advice, coach report advice, uh, handle auto-picking team selections. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Um, boom. Currently employed. 
us as the assistant manager will do those things okay the reserves will try to use first team tactics as much as possible that's fine under 18s backroom advice yeah that's all fine personal assistant so some default settings when you scout a player you can add him to a short list for a while when you scout a player by default watch him for one week um you know just make sure to watch one match i guess will be the thing although i guess with one week there's probably going to be a match and at least you'll watch them for training sessions i don't know we'll leave it on for now we'll see uh, when you offer a player to other clubs alert clubs available for this percentage's value also transfer list players changes squad um he, yeah we'll wait on that we'll probably do a lot more of that manually da 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 da, -da. okay I think that's going to be fine. We'll confirm all those changes. So we've made some of those. We've got our training. We've got everything. Medical center. We could take some of these looks, you know, various injury risks. Um, unlikely to lead to higher than normal. Da, 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 da. Um, okay. Let's continue. Uh, the schedule by default has the um, the month break in now, which they didn't have before, which I think is a nice little improvement. So we'll have to do a little bit of, please, uh, you know, a little bit of please waiting. Uh, early on here. Uh, excited. Oh, I like this. You get a little bit of breakdown, a little quote from some of the interview over here. I like that. Backroom team advice. Maybe hire some people for the reserves and under 18 teams. I think we'll take a look at that very soon. Okay, we've got a match, Brecken versus Air. We're going to come over here to the team selection. I'm going to tell um, uh, pick the uh, unpicked positions, which is mostly going to yeah, actually, we didn't have to do that. We already had the um, the substitutes in here. We can have up to 12. We only have seven subs. We could have eight, except Mr. Higgins here is injured. I think I'm pleased with this start. Let's find out what happens. All right, we'll submit team. We didn't have a pre-match talk. Uh, it should be pretty quiet in the match over here. Not a lot of people around to watch. Oh, there's actually a handful of people who had showed up to watch. All right, that's going to be okay. Gusty 17 degrees. Friendly match. Dressing room, so my um, assistant manager is doing the talks for me. Just, you know, because I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should do it more, but it's just some extra clicking I'm not interested in. So, yeah, we've got our, our new kit. We've got this, like, white kit over here now. Um, hopefully that's not too loud. I think we're okay. Uh, and uh, our way is, like, kind of pinkish. So we don't have the black and white stripes anymore. What's up with that? It's very weird. Very weird not to have. Uh, how's our list? We've got... Uh, we do have extended highlights turned on. Uh, I don't care for replays. Um, the speed between highlights can be maxed out. That's going to be okay. So, wow, not a whole lot of exciting stuff going on right now. Now, we still, even though this is a, a team we should be a little bit stronger against, we're still set currently on the more cautious style to see how it goes. Ooh, big pass directly forward to Craig McGuffey, who's going to take the kick, and it goes well wide, well wide over there. A lot of rust to shake off, I think, still. On the defense here, Smith to Orsi. We've got a big cluster of people here, which might be leaving too many people open somewhere else. I'm a little unsure about that. That's Crawford, Murdoch. Okay, Smith blocks the pass, sends it up for it. So it is feeling very direct play-ish, even though we don't have we don't have it set to direct play. We don't have an advanced playmaker set up over here. Harvey was a little out of position. Bad first touch as well. Sends it way for it. Why? Okay, hold on. Why is that happening? Focus play through middle. I mean, it's fine. You know, some of these, you know, sending things forward is okay. It just feels like it's happening maybe more than I expected. Although, as if our team gets a little bit more used to positioning properly, getting in the right place, they're, they're, they're too clustered up. I think there's a lot of positional mistakes happening over here. This is not a good sign of how the tactic will feel. See, Harvey there again gets a little out of position. There's just a lot of that. The teamwork level's a little low. Craig McGuffey beats the defenders, takes the shot from point-blank range, and gets it in there. I mean, we're 13 minutes in. We were up by one. I mean, I guess it's it's kind of working at this point. Uh, maybe because I put the cautious mentality. I know the ca it used to be when you change your mentality, um, to be more towards the cautious side. It would, by a certain default, actually um, move things towards a more direct play. Harvey just dumping the ball out for safety there since the goalkeeper wasn't able to just grab it. Calm, calm. We've got a couple of players that are feeling strong today. Harvey apparently is doing okay. I don't know. Sure. 
Yeah, I think we're going to see a very, very, very different squad after four or five games. Even if we make no other adjustments, I think with just a little bit of time, it's going to be amazing. Uh, ooh, nice pass with the Shanklin, who, oh, hits the post. I mean, threads two defenders easily there. But then, yeah, hits the post. It's almost weird. It feels like the uh, the play is almost a little slow. Cross to the bar. Yeah, sure. Um, because I think I normally, uh, when I'm playing on my own, I set my play speed to be just, just one notch above baseline. So first half is over. We'll do a lot of substitutions because it's a friendly, so we can use, we can have unlimited substitutions. We'll probably try to cycle basically everyone, try to keep down the injury chance and get everyone a little bit more warmed up and familiarized your stuff with stuff as much as possible. Um, although, you know, there's something to be said about making sure our first squad gets as much warm up time as possible. But at the same time, I don't want them to have any injuries because they're still a little bit stiff over here. So we look looking at that. All right. So, you know, pros and cons. Daniel Harvey is both one and lost possession more than any other player on the team. Mm hmm. That's fine. Then a little bit more of a talk over there. Nothing special going on. And we flip sides over here. So, because we're a little bit more cautious, despite the fact that we're in theory fighting a lower tier team, we might not, you know, abuse them with as many goals. It might end up... Historically, I've played a style of football that has led to a very high scoring game on both sides. Because I play fairly aggressive, so we score a lot of goals, but we also give up a lot of goals. Here, I think it's going to be lower scoring, but probably a fair bit more consistent, I suspect. We're going to see. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of tactical adjustments throughout the entirety of the season. But yeah. All right. Substitutions are coming on the other side. We'll probably uh, we'll probably get started on that now ourselves, too. Um, there's no one who are really anxious to sub out. That's not really what we're looking for. It's mostly going to be we're going to sub in people and just drop them in some of their better roles. Here, we'll put you in uh, Shanklin's role there because he's not necessarily doing as well. Kerr. Um, yeah, they're all pretty samey. We'll put you there because he's a little bit more tired. Jamie Adams uh, will replace the uh, 6.2. Craig Moore. Here, you can come in for Craig McGuffey. Craig for a Craig. It's going to be okay. And we'll do that. Um, I mean, maybe I should save some substitutes in case there's an actual injury. Okay. Andy Gagan, who was one of our star players back in the day. We're going to leave you sitting for just a little while. We'll sub you in a little later. And maybe I should have done this, you know, bits and pieces. But I really just... Um, are we just paused? What's going on? Play. I think I did pause it, yeah. Um, but really, it's just about getting as much warm-up for everyone here in this friendly, and that's all I really care about. So this is a little bit weird to do it this way, but it's okay. Maybe we'll just leave Gegen sitting behind, sitting on the bench the whole game here, and the next game, we'll make sure to sub him first. More crossers? I don't know, I'm not going to put too many of those. It tends to confuse play if you just tell everyone to like mark and, and counter and shut down everyone all the time. Then they get pulled out of position too, too much. I want to be very strategic with my assignments of this things. All right, we've got possession, 63 minutes in. Distributing the ball to the center midfielders, who then send it far forward. And more well ahead. Now, maybe this is part of what's going on. Maybe I should remove the instructions. I could remove the instruction to distribute the ball to the, mid, the, 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 the center backs, because then they just send it forward. Or I could put out more play-out defense, which I don't think we have. But honestly... This might be okay. It also, again, with the cautious play, it sort of gets us out, gets it out of our defensive end as quickly as possible. Now, the question is, are we going to be able to gain control of it in the offensive end? Maybe. We do... Oh, that's right. I forgot. The other, I have the instruction for counterplay during transition. That's probably what's doing it. During transition, when you go counter, you just send it far forward and, and go crazy. That is true. Okay. It's not that I'm opposed to this. I was just confused with why it was happening. And that's almost certainly what it is. If we take a look at um, team instructions, it's probably this counter right here. Immediately going to attack. Yeah. Okay. So the the more direct action is happening right when we gain possession. And I think if it fails to execute at that point, it, it, it will go to more of a of a regularly paced buildup. And I think that's going to be kind of a nice middle ground, actually. I really like that. Harvey, yeah, apparently he's having a really good game. I don't know anything about this guy. This is someone who was not in a squad when I played last time. 8.5. You got the assist. And the thing, we're not playing a heavy winger game, but he got involved there. He got stuff done. 
That is very, very interesting to see. We never did set up our set plays, um, coordination or anything like that. We may want to do some tuning there. I mean, the game by default tries to pick people with the appropriate stats for corners and throw-ins and whatnot, but we might want to explicitly choose people that, you know, won't disrupt some other part of our tactic. So I suspect... Oh, they're doing the goalkeeper swap at the end. Again, a little bit of practice, a little bit of warm-up for everyone. We're going to leave things as is here. Oh, Duin catches it. Thank you very much. I was about to say, we're probably going to end this 1-0, which is, I think, the sort of thing we'll see a fair bit, given the tactic that we're building up. I think that's the sort of thing we will see a lot. Again, we're hoping... I think we're going to hope for more clean sheet games than we have in the past. Uh, Ross Doherty picks up a yellow right near the end over here. I suppose we could do one last little swap out there, but it's not going to really matter. I don't think he's going to get himself a red card right at the end of the game. We could tell him to chill out some more, but overall we're going to be okay. Doing with the goal kick. Since it's far forward. I, yeah, I think distribute to, um, to the center backs is not correct. I think that runs contrary to our... I do have that, right? Yeah, I think that runs contrary to our um, our more counter mentality. We might want to dump it to the midfield, or we might just want to let them have a fair amount of flexibility, not specify anywhere exactly as to where to go. We'll have to make sure to make this change like after the game or outside of the game here. But I'm curious to see what kind of uh, modification this will do. Because one of the advantages, it means on a counter, the center backs actually won't have to start so far back. They'll probably be able to press a little bit for, further forward because the goalkeeper will be sending the ball beyond them. Mo oh, that, I thought that might have been a chance right there. And that is the end of the match. That was our away game. Coming in 1-0. Delivered. All right. That is a good start for us. Who reacted negatively to some of the comments. And I sort of yelled at some of them. Some were good. Some were bad. No worries there. Secure the vi victory. Okay. Phil Pot over here. A scout. Chief scout. Excellent. We will accept you. Lovely. Thank you very much. Welcome to the squad. Let me go to our tactics screen over here. And yeah, I'm going to go... We don't have a playmaker. We don't really have a target man over there. We could encourage just like a long kick. I'm a little bit leery about setting anything specific over here. We might want to get a feel as to, like, here we're leaving it wide open for the goalkeeper to basically do anything. And we might want to get a feel as to what kind of distributions leads to the best chances for us. And then go ahead and change that um, at that point. So yeah, we have we have some weak positionings over here. We're not really going to get a lot of deep crosses with this. Um, I'm still, I'm not sure if we should make these guys be a little bit more aggressive as a win back. I mean, maybe. It's not like we don't have a solid defense over here. Right, two midfielders and a defensive midfielder, that's great. I am concerned about being outflanked. I guess the question is, how physical are flanks? 19 years old, huge potential abilities, already pretty good. Hot prospect, uh-huh. Pace, stamina, like, can he run up and down, up and down, up and down? He's very comfortable being a wingback. And over here, Smith, 22 years old, a 12 and a 12 for pace and stamina. Also comfortable being a wing back. All right. Wing back. Support. Wing back. Support. So it's going to be a little further forward. Hmm. I'm a little worried that it's going to leave us a little too vulnerable on the flanks here, but let's give this a try. Uh, we meet the Celtics in three days. That'll be an interesting test. I guess we can just continue forward now. We'll probably do the Celtics match here, depending on how much mail we have to deal with. Uh, you're completing moves. We'll have to get you to recommend a signing. Um, sports scientist, yes. Uh, head of sports scientist, yes. Fitness coach, please. Um, shouldn't be on for a new contract. We'll keep that in mind. Okay, complete move, complete move, complete move. Recommend signing. And if we go into training, coaches, edit assignments, reset there. We spread the load out a bit more, so we should have much, much better training. Now, at some point, we're going to have to consider our, our financial, our budget spread between um, transfer budget, wage budget, scouting budget. I... 
I, I mean, we'll probably go more towards wages than transfer. I think what we'd be looking to do, if it's anything, it's going to be picking up some free transfers. We do not have much money to spend on that. Um, there might be some value in increasing our scouting budget, which comes out of our transfer budget. Just get to know as many people as possible and not think about trading in this window. We'll sort of make use of, make do with what we can in this window. But the next one, which is what, January? Maybe that'll be the thing. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab a little bit of money that way. Um, hang on. There's um, it's all the same button. A oh, wage versus transfer, scouting versus whatever. Yeah, but there's um, there's something else. Right, I mean, I guess I can I can successfully scout some sort of competition. But we could also, like, make sure we're scouting everything within scouting range in general, I guess, for everyone. Or do we look for something specific? How's our squad depth? There's a good question. I mean, obviously, strikers, we're in really good shape. Really, what we don't have is another person who can maybe play in the attacking midfielder role, other than Alan Forrest. You know, we've got some of our strikers that can sort of go there and, you know, do a halfway job, but that's about it. Midfielder, we seem to have a decent amount of depth, although they're the same sort of three names that show up over and over. Um, we've got Gagan who can play there. You know, it's probably fine. Um, other than Harvey, we have no one really on the left. Gagan can play on the right as a backup. So Gagan's got, like, a lot of ability to fill in some of these gaps, which is nice. But we may specifically want to look for another person who can play left dis defensive. And again, as a wing back, I would say. Um, that and an attacking midfielder. So maybe we'll create some assignments for both of those. Um, maybe like a hot prospect for back here. Um, specifically kind of wing backy kind of looking for so relatively young but good someone who can maybe you know take the place uh, going forward I think that's gonna be okay start scouting for that we'll create another assignment as well for here um, again maybe just another hot prospect I, I kind of like that um, maybe another shadow striker I mean there's gonna be some flexibility but we'll, we will set an assignment for that to try to encourage us to find something that way Okay, so those assignments are out. They're going to be cycled in along with everything else. Um, assignments, priorities. Okay. Three assignments, zero waiting. Um, next op opposition. So we probably want to also make sure we're scouting out the championship. And maybe the Betfred Cup. Get a general idea. These guys will swap. Um, how do I set? They're created. It doesn't say awaiting scouts. Something seems a little weird here. Maybe, maybe that'll update and show us a queue later on. I don't know. Now we've got the center, or the uh, scouting center over here with some extra bits. Take a look at Connor. Estimated cost. Yeah, we can't we can't take him, unfortunately. Extremely interested. He's not getting paid very much. The problem is the cost. When, sorry, when does his contract expire? How do I... Okay, we want to add him, I guess, to a short list and keep an eye on him. In case he becomes available for free. He, this guy wants a job. I don't know anything. Wow, he's fast. All right, we'll do a little scout. Outside the range, 2.7K. I, I think we're going to have to discard you. Sorry, buddy. That's, we don't have that kind of money. Belgian. I like Belgians. 
1.2k. That's an expensive scout. I'll just acknowledge we can't. Man, yeah, outside. Dang it. We may have to spend more money doing this, but. This guy, he'd potentially be expensive. Ooh, quite good. Fullback on the left. Potentially better. Now, that's a fair amount of money. Transfer interest is dubious. Yeah, he's not sure if he'd be willing to go for us. He would be very strong on the left there. Wow. Hmm. Really expensive. Yeah, I don't think we'd have the wage budget for it, even if we transfer everything over. Uh, I'll just acknowledge, but that's unfortunately all we can do. I am going to have to spend some money on some of these people. Available, wanted somewhere else. We got no info on him whatsoever. I mean, our scouts are a little bit busy right now. We're going to have to... Oh, here's a Scott. Free transfer. Midfielder. No real info yet. Yeah, it's within range. It'll still be a cost, but that's okay. Um, go ahead and start scouting him. We need some info on him. We've got an Englishman over here who's got a cost. I'll just acknowledge. We'll take another look at you later in case you become a free. Um, there's a bunch more filters here than there used to be. You know, show me people with a recommendation level at least 70. Um, to be a little bit more finicky there. Oh, there we go. It did update the uh, number of scouting things. Um, there might be a few other filters we can set on some of these jobs too, but I think that's going to be an okay start. Okay, let's move forward here. I did say we'd maybe see another game uh, this session, but I'm not sure that's going to be the case. Celtics, then the Rangers. Wow, we are uh, we're playing, playing both members of the old firm over here. Uh, training reports, okay. Match preparation, some teamwork training, that's going to be okay. We do want a bunch of that. What I think I'm going to do, since the theaters run a little bit long, I will put a cut in here, and what I'll probably end up doing is running through a few of the friendlies. Um off offline and then we're going to come back when we face dundee united at home in the betfred cup so i'm curious to see how the cup goes we've got four group matches uh to play sort of back to back to back over here it'd be nice to see if we can advance i think that's what we're going to do so thank you for watching another episode sorry we're not going to see the celtics and the rangers match uh over here or the man and arsenal under 23s but yeah, we'll just for fast forward that to the new the new thing over there. Uh, and if I make any more tactical adjustments in between sessions, we will discuss that when we get back. Thanks for watching. See you next time.